नमस्कार वेलकम टू ऑल आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट डब्ल्यू एच ओ फॉर एस्टेब्लिशिंग बेंच मार्क्स फॉर द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ आयुर्वेदा ग्लोबली इट्स अ गुड इंडिकेशन फॉर द रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ आयुर्वेदा एट इंटरनेशनल स्टेटस आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू द हेड ऑफ द यूनिट हु हैज डेवलप्ड इट सो friends we are this, this is newly published recently published and we are going to discuss the ins and outs of the guidelines and this is an introductory episode of the same what is in that how it was prepared who is the beneficiary so please be with us for next 10 minutes why this bench what is the necessity of this bench mark in 2010 who published bench mark for training in ayurveda which presented what professional experts and health, health regulators considered to be appropriate training program for ayurveda practitioners okay this was before 12 years standardized protocol of ayurveda against which its actual practice can be compared and evaluated has been lacking however i am really thankful to who who have thought this and now issued these guidelines so now that was urgently needed number one aligned to its objective it serves as a reference to national authorities to establish or strengthen regulatory standards because qualified ayurvedic practice should be promoted along with the patient safety this benchmark describes model of practice and practice profile of providers and provides consensus to the practitioner professional organization regulators health system managers and patients on how the service should be organized means a standardized benchmark they have created this document will join benchmark for the training of ayurveda which was which was issued in 2010 how now the question is this how it was prepared and how the document took shape place this document followed the established methodology of who they have already a standard methodology to develop traditional complementary and integrative medicine documents former licensor and established national standards guidelines these were reviewed existing training benchmark were also reviewed data from 26 member state out of which 16 are regulating ayurvedic practitioners that were reviewed various countries were involved that can be read at uh, uh, the document guideline information was collected from website also websites of ministries of respective health member has states direct communication with officials experts so it was examined on existing benchmark legislation national standards and guidelines from the information gathered and existing benchmark covering the objective is holistically was not that means who was not satisfied what documents were available at that time so it was observed considerable considerable diversity of the practice its prevalence and accepting all by all country all country what are the member country of the who it became clear that the who benchmark document will take into its account the diversity and suggest regulation for practice product 
and training. Different level of social acceptance is necessary. Community awareness is also necessary. And uptake, that is also necessary, along with the availability of resources. So, further scoped with the Google Scholar, PubMed, IOS research portals, means comprehensive planning. With comprehensive planning, a benchmark is prepared by WHO using a combination of safety, quality, and trial. A number, number of references are there. I don't want to waste your time because this is the introductory part of the series. And we will be discussing its nine components into detail in next nine episodes. One category identified benchmarks, regulation, quality, practice, and training. After filtration, 884 publications left. After studying their abstract, it was narrowed down to 151, then 35, then 63 and 133 publication for uh, definite regulatory gaps, requirements, and what practice is going on in different countries. Those papers were focused on that. Second category refined the information for Ayurveda and safety. And 3781, 3781 publication were identified there. The data were further clean and it was filtered to 1228. That means a well planned achievement by the head of the unit who has developed it. I really congratulate him, thanks him to standardize and recognize Ayurveda well for promotion of. Ayurveda in member country of WHO. First draft was prepared on the information of registration, uh, information together, ex existing regulatory frameworks, standard practices and processes adopted in member states to guarantee safe, good quality practice of traditional medicine, traditional textbook of Ayurveda, relevant information from WHO and other publications. Its first draft was developed in 2018 after reviewing by 39 experts from 19 countries across that six WHO region. It is now finalized. Second draft was prepared. And now the final draft is in our hand for which I congratulated already. So after feedback, after involving experts, after involving all member countries where Ayurveda is in practice, it, these all factors were considered well at the time of planning and compilation. And the expert, ultimately, the expert consultation meeting conducted in 2019, and then 49 experts attended that, out of 22 countries across the six WHO region, and then developed this fourth draft, which is the final draft. So what is what does it, this benchmark cover? What is inside it? Why it was developed? So this is structured in nine parts. Number one, background. We will be discussing in next episodes. Number second, level of practice in Ayurveda. Ayurveda health service provider. Third component. Fourth is infrastructure and facilities. Practice of Ayurveda health intervention, that is fifth category. Health products and medical devices used in Ayurveda. Safety in Ayurveda practice. Regulatory, legal, ethical aspect of Ayurveda practice. Health data means what does not, it has been covering everything, it is covering everything, and I hope these guidelines will be definitely suitable, a motivational, inspiring for each and Ayurved, uh, each Ayurvedic experts, practitioners, paramedical, everybody, everybody, who, for whom, 
or whom. This is the ultimately uh, uh, question can be asked by the society. For whom this benchmark is developed to evaluate Ayurveda service providers, number one, health workers, policy makers, education providers, and the public in general. And this is our society's uh, aim and motto to create health awareness, to communicate all guidelines to the society in a non-profitable basis, educational basis, health awareness basis, and we are doing this. By setting norms and standards, this document helps to address the gap between the increased demand and uncertified delivery of Ayurvedic services, which is not certified by quacks, by untrained persons. It is very unfortunate that untrained persons are also entered and they are definitely defaming Ayurved name, which should not be there. Our society encourage the health awareness events webinars and we are now reaching to 300 plus webinars, 315 is today. I welcome you all again to join those webinars and the second, wait for second episode, we will be discussing every component of the guideline in easy language, understandable language by all. Thank you. Thank you. Hari Om.